God decided to send his only begotten son. Yaani wakati Mungu aliamua kumtuma mwanawake wa pekee. Kuna kitu kwa kimombo inaitwa righteousness revealed. I want to tell you tonight that righteousness was revealed in Christ Jesus. And there was nothing else that we, we were supposed to do to attain this righteousness. Biblia inasema ya kwamba we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Because everything that we, we were supposed to do, it was already done. Chochote kile tulikuwa tunafaa kufanya, ilisha fanyika. Kama ni dhambi, hiyo mshahara ilisha lipo, pale msalabani. What God did upon the cross of Calvary, He made it possible for you to understand it and to receive it. Every day of your life, it is a day to live knowing and understanding that the power we have, it is a power that comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. So hakuna chochote unafaa kupatiana. Hakuna chochote lile unafaa kutoa. Ili ukapata kuelewa hii ukombozi imetoka wapi. God of heaven decided to send his son. Bibili inasema, for now there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation. Hakuna ukumu. Kwanza inazidi kusema, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Hakuna ukumu kwa wale wakundani ya Yesu. Inamanisha ya kwamba kama wewe hauja ukoka na uja upokea hii ukweli. Basi wewe utahukumiwa. So siku ya leo tuko hapa kukuambia, if you trust and believe in your heart, then there is no condemnation. There is hope and there is a way for you to live again. Kuna mtu wali niuliza, kweni nyinyi amna kazi ya kufanya ndio maana mnaenda streets kuhubiri and this is what i told them sio kwa sababu tumekosa kazi kazi tuko nazo sio kwa sababu hatuna kitu ya kufanya tuko na vitu vya kufanya lakini because of the love of god we have decided to come to the streets so that you can also hear this very good news you can also experience the very love we experience that experience that comes from the love of Christ. So today is the day that the Lord has made. Today is the day the Lord made it possible for you that leo hii wewe mwenyewe mahali upo ukapata kuisikia na ukapata kuipokea. Mwingine akaniambia, kuna dini nyingi sana na hizi dini zote zinatuelekeza juu mbinguni. Lakini nikamweleza ya kwamba it is not about religion. Jesus did not come to reveal to us religion. He did not come to create the foundation of religion. He came to bring to bring to us what we call the love of God. Sheria ili tuhubiria ikatuambia, lazima kuna vitu ufanye, lazima kuna vitu utatoa. Lakini leo hii nakuambia, kupitia Yesu Kristo, hakuna lolote unafaa ufanye. Because everything was given to us freely. It was given to us freely. Iwe ni ukombozi uko nayo ni wewe kuelewa na kuamini ni wewe kusoma na kupata hii ha, hii neno na kupata kuielewa na ukishaielewa then you receive it then you will be delivered so jesus came for so that we can get that healing so my brothers and my sisters this very evening i want to tell you that the love of god is immense it is for you to come to that reality young people of diani nataka ni waeleze it is up to you to come to that knowledge and get to understand this very truth we are trying to tell you. But Bibile inasema, for God so loved the world that, is, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So this moment I tell you once again, the love of God is in this place. It is for you to hear it, for you to feel it, for you to see it, for you to hear it and for you to believe in it and when you do so then your life will be transformed your life will be changed biblia sio kitabu ya kuhubiri kuhusu biashara biblia sio kitabu ya ya kuhubiri kuhusu mambo mengine ni kuhubiri kitu kimoja maisha ama ile uhai tuko nayo katika Yesu Kristo so jioni ya leo nataka kuambia that very life we have received and it is in Christ Jesus we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Mbarikiwe sana, tali wakati mungine.